So I'm going to show you the finish, and then we're going to work our way to how we actually get to a leg pass. Once we learn a leg pass, once we learn the fundamentals of a leg pass, they're going to be very, very similar in almost every position. All right? But the first thing we got to do is understand what the leg pass is, how we execute it, and, and the general ways in which we finish it. So he's just going to be standing on his feet. I'm going to dive in between his legs. He's going to have his feet outside his shoulders. I'm going to dive between his legs, and my left hand is going to hook backwards to his ankle. He's just going to drop his chest down onto my calves. All right? You see how this position is right here. Left arm's hooking his ankle. He dropped and put his chest over my calves. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to lean to the side. I have the leg trapped until he drops to a hip. Everybody see that? I just lean. I'm, when I say elbow deep, I mean hooking my, bend of my elbow around whatever body part I'm talking about. So if I'm elbow deep on the hamstring, bend of my elbow to the hamstring. Elbow deep on the neck any of that stuff. So we're going to stay elbow deep right here. When I get to this position, I want you to work your grip, your arm above the knee. And then when you get above the knee, I want you to turn and drive and shoot a leg half on your own leg right here. Similar to like a forced roll position or Peterson. I don't think Peterson's work very good at a high level, um, but forced rolls do. But we're getting back to this forced roll, five point roll or four point roll position. So I'm diving between the legs. Back hook with my left arm. He drops down. I lean to the side I have trapped. I just want this guy kind of hanging out right now. I'm going to drive my butt towards his head. I can use my free hand to get my arm above the knee, and then I'm squaring up, getting my feet in the mat. Notice my butt's off the mat. It's not sitting on the mat, but I'm not doing this, okay? My butt's just barely off the mat, so I have pressure into his ribs leg half. Do not grab his head. Please don't. Please don't. Just stop right here. Just want to get that position over and over and over and over again. Okay? Because that's going to be our main leg pass finish. Dive between the legs. Left hand. Back hook. They drop down. Lean to the side I have trapped. Work my grip above the knee. Square up with my feet. Drive in. Feet are in the mat. Butts off the mat. Leg half. The hand that's scooping his leg shoots a half on my leg, butt off the mat. That's where I want you to stop. That's it. That's how we finish our leg pass. Questions, what's up? Does it matter what arm you use after you on your knee? When I'm under the leg, my, my hand towards his head is going to do a lot of things. Just leave that hand free for now. Okay? But the leg, the hand that's scooping his leg always goes leg half. We'll pull it out and do some different stuff, but it's based off his reaction. He'll lock in our crotch, he'll attack our laces, and we'll just walk through all how we beat all those positions. But right now, all I want you to focus on is getting to that position where we finish. Because what's going to happen is, is if, if he's double-legging me, okay, and I'm getting to this leg pass position, we got to focus on getting here. Okay, That's going to be the end result. But we'll pass a leg from a hundred different positions, but that's going to be the common finish that we try to get to every time. Good? Go. We just got to get.